Hi, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It's awesome that you are here in our community watching my video. I humbly ask for you to subscribe. Off the coast of Mexico, Oaxaca, Mexico, there was a magnitude 5.5 earthquake at about 12.33 p.m. local time. There was a few felt reports saying that it was light shaking uh, felt along the coastline, but no damage and no tsunami warning. This is the location where the Cocos Plate is subducting underneath the North American Plate. We have about, oh, two earthquakes every year of a magnitude five or larger every year. It's really a seismically active location. They also have about 162 earthquakes of a magnitude four or larger in this location. You can see I got drawn out just different little micro plates. This is the Riviera plate. There actually was a foreshock. I talk about any earthquake can be for shock for something much larger and there was in fact a magnitude 4.3 about three hours earlier at 9 33 um, a.m local time and you can see here we got the middle american trench actually that foreshock was at 9 22 sorry about that 9 22 a.m the foreshock here you can see it was in fact a thrust earthquake this is an area of a convergent boundary. The thrust earthquake is where one side of the fault rises up and actually moves over the other side. This is a hallmark of subduction. It was felt in Jose Maria Morales, about 200 kilometers away, which is about 122 miles away. And the earthquake was reportedly felt as an intensity level maybe three or four and it quickly dissipated uh, the farther out from that location there is only maybe a three to five percent chance of a larger earthquake occurring within the next 24 hours of say maybe a magnitude six surprisingly there hasn't been any aftershocks that have been reported after uh, these earthquakes there could be what's called quiet earthquakes, slow moving, uh, long duration earthquakes that aren't being picked up. That could be going on and that could continue maybe for a week or so as the fault line, the subduction area adjusts. There could be maybe five to 10 smaller earthquakes within the next week, but that would, would be within maybe 30 miles of this location or 50 kilometers. So there's basically no real risk uh, to the coastal areas for a future large earthquake which is good so if you live down there or know someone that lives down there you probably only felt light shaking but what did it feel like and how long did it last i would like to know and those here in our community would also like to know please put those comments down below thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.